In this video, we are going to discuss about file management software. File management is an important function of operating system as you already know because files are the only means of storing some data or information on our computer systems. The utility software that provides the regular file management functions like creating files, browsing, updating or searching are called the file management tools. Some of the examples are Windows Explorer in Windows operating system. If you have a Windows operating system installed on your computer, you must always be opening the Windows Explorer if you want to see any file or even create a new file or search for a file that you have lost. Google Desktop, that is another file management software that has been released by Google. Directory Opus, Double Commander, these are all softwares that you can use to manage the files on your system. Next, let's discuss about the compression tools. Why compression tools are very important file management tools? Because the operating system is always looking for ways to decrease the amount of space that is required by the files. It has minimum amount of primary storage and a limited amount of secondary storage. So it is always looking at ways so that it can decrease the space or the size of the files that is done using the compression tools. What the compression tools do is once you use them on any file then their format is changed. They are changed in another format where all the blank spaces are removed so that they take less space. Now please remember that if a compressed file is there, you cannot access it directly. You cannot open it directly. You have to uncompress it or decompress it using the same software or the same tool that you use to compress it and then only you can read it. So what the compression tool does it? It will just first compress the file, store it and then decompress it so that you can read it. These are some of the popular compression tools that you can use, WinRAR, PZIP or the UnArchiver. Now last but not the least, backup utility. What does the backup utility do? It will take a backup of your files and store it somewhere else. Why backup is required? Because when you are using your files, it could get corrupted. The system itself, for example, crashes or a virus infects it. So the file will go away. The file will not be saved in a form that it has been. Say for example, I have written a 10 page document today and after 3-4 days I open it and I find that there are just 2 pages there or even not even 2 pages, something garbled messages, some garbled document is there because of a virus. So what do I do? After it has been garbled, I cannot do anything. What I have to do is the moment I create any file, I'll take a backup. I'll create a copy and save it somewhere else on the same system or an external hard drive or a pen drive. So that is called taking a backup. The operating system has got some its own software, the utility software that keep taking backups periodically. This way you can ensure that some amount of file will always be there. So if today you have created a file and over a period of 10, 12 days, you are just adding to it, updating it. Say on the 20th day, you open it and you realize that some problem has occurred and you cannot see your complete file. Now, if on the 10th day you had taken a backup, at least you will have the first 10 days of work with you. So you only need to add say two or three days of work. You have only lost the two, three days of work. So that is what a backup utility will do. Remember that in case of network systems, backup may be done on backup servers. The, op the computer, a standalone computer will back it up on its own drive that is already there on a pen drive if you want to do that. But on a network, usually there is one backup server where all the workstations can take their backup and keep it on the server. So once they have any problem, their system crashes or gets infected by the virus, they can simply download that backup of that date and start working again. In this video, we have seen the different file management software that are available to us. 
In the next video, we are going to discuss about disk management software.